Hey sports fans, this is Hip Hop here, and you are watching Hoppa's Hip Tips. Thanks for joining me for some hot EFC action today. We're going to get right into it. Uh, viewer Sparky Games was uh, wondering why I don't use more variety in my deck. So, I switched it up a little bit today. Uh, we still have um, still have my Jungo half, but uh, we're going to use Berserks today instead of... Um, set of skills. So, we'll see how that goes. And I also got to give a shout out here to August Yeah What, another viewer who uh, basically saved my saved my account with his quick thinking the other day uh, and uh, saved this channel. So, thank you very much August Yeah What. Much appreciated. Anyway, we're going to get into some action here. Um, what do we got? So, yesterday, uh, yesterday, I accidentally deleted yesterday's video before I got it uploaded. So, um, we made a little bit of progress. We got like 40 points. It was, you know, again, it was just back and forth type stuff. Kind of like the day before. So, yeah. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy competitive here in EFC Tower. So I don't know what's going on, but that's the deal. So, we're at 10.03, and uh, let's get into it, baby. So there we go. We got an even split of... Uh, Jungo and our new Berserk half here. And Salsa's, Salsa takes care of Dudley and Oshitsune. And Baffo, for that matter. So that's kind of nice. And actually... Um, Hercule um, does pretty well. Well, now he'll, he'll be equal to Dudley, won't he? So he'll be equal to each other. Um, but he does well against Oshitsune, too, so that's nice. Um, so I guess we could start with... Well, let's start with Hercule, actually. Because uh, that'll keep that might keep Dudley off of us. Plus, I wanna I wanna win I wanna win draws with Dudley. So if I go first, we're both four stars. So that's why I threw Hercule here. It might hurt me because I might lose an extra pill. You know, especially if he just like drs me with Artis or something. Could suck, but we'll see. Oh, he does throw Dudley. Got you, sucker. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so there's Dudley out of the way. That that worked nicely. So that was kind of my that was kind of my plan there. And he actually peeled a little bit too, so that helps us too. With our backlash. So that's good. We got five damage in. And we got Dudley out of the way. So, now what's he going to do? He's going to throw Baffo. Um, okay. I guess we could... I don't know, I'm thinking maybe Mitchell here. You know? One pill Mitchell or something? Okay. So he gets Mitchell there. But that's okay. We just, we still pushed our gap there. Um, now I'm gonna throw Salsa with no pills. I 
Ah, uh, dang, he threw Ocean soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang it. Should have attacked. Oh well. Is that game? We can hit for a five, and he drops us to two. Ah, oh, man. That was uh, that was bad, guys. It was really bad. I should have had that game. Dang it. Ah. Uh. Oh, that sucks, man. I had that. I had that. I totally had that. <laughs> and it just slipped away. Oh, that was brutal. Alright, so this is the Unno, a Titan level 101. And he has a couple of cops and a couple of uppers here. And I drew Chang, which is my um, my mission card here. So let's see. Throws Lahane, so we're gonna throw Michelle here with forty attack. So we blast him for seven there. That's decent. Uh, let's see. Now I'm going to throw Peg with... Uh, yeah, we're going to no-pill Peg. I don't care. Because now he, he either has to... Uh, you know, he can, he can get through with Oxen, obviously. But um, that's only going to be five damage. But then after that, he's got to decide whether he wants to throw Wendell with Courage Stop Ability at Excess Legend, or throw Tessa to fight Chang. You know what I mean? So that's what he does. He throws Oxen, which is good. So he gets a free 5 damage in. But now... Oh, now he throws Wendell. Perfect. Um... Let's see. Tessa's going to be a... Th Three power, right? Let's see if I hit with excess legend for three, then I take him to four and I go up to thirteen. Then he can hit me for 8 from 13, which is 5. Yeah, that works. Let's see, Wendell is what? A 6 times... He could be a, an 82. Can I beat an 82? Nope. <laughs> okay. Well then, we'll just settle for half pilling here. Alright, well... That's fine. We'll win it on this end instead of that end. So we'll get some chain points in here. Very nice. Hit him for two, drain him for two, and that's game, baby. 22 points. And uh, we're on to game three of ten. We're at point five. One, one, lost one. So this is Lady Cool, a Colossus, level 122. Uh, is she the chick that just beat me before? Is that who beat me before? I didn't see who my opponent was that first game, but this looks awfully like the hand that beat me on game one there. So that doesn't make me too excited. So this is Cutie. And uh, what should we do against Cutie? We could throw Silvano. Silvano. 
Chang kind of handle, handles Dudley and Oshitsune pretty nicely. So we're going to save Chang for those guys. Peg also works against them. So, I guess we'll throw Silvano. Should we throw Silvano here? Yeah, we're going to, uh, let's see. Now we're going to throw Excess Legend here. Okay. So we get through for three. But we spend an extra pill that we didn't need to. Um, spend a couple extra pills. Anyway, um, now... Now what? Now we're going to toss Peg here with one pill. So he throws Artis. We blast him for another one. Pushing that gap, baby. Pushing that gap to four. So now I basically just have to take this with Silvano and then win with Chang. And that's game. So, he throws Dudley, and I'm like, oh, wait a second, though. No. We have to be Dudley, don't we? He minus twos us to a three. Actually, no, all we need to do, all we need to do is this. We just need to half pill. Just need to split our pills, and we'll be good. Yep, there we go. That's game. Is that game? Oh, I guess it's a draw, isn't it? Alright. Oh, we got him. Sweet. Okay. Suck it, Oshitsune. Suck it, Lady Cool. I hope I hope we just got revenge there. I think she's the one that beat us the first game, but I'm not I'm not sure. But we got 36 points, and that feels good. And now we're on to game four of ten, baby. Is it only game four? Man, it feels like an eternity here. On to game four. Come on. If we can get an opponent. Okay, I'll just edit this part out and post. Alrighty, there we go. So for the viewers, it took us like three times to get an opponent there, but I edited that part out for your viewing pleasure. So this is Zero Goku, an Imperator level 76. And he has a full hand of um, roots here. And I did not draw... Excess Legend or Hercule to battle these guys with. So, could be a little iffy here. Um, so I guess we can start out with Salsa here. 
go ahead and toss her with three pills. I guess it's four pills if you count your, count the free pill. So he's going to have to get Mildred going here in this game, I think, to make any progress. And he'll probably throw her second round, I'm thinking. So this round he'll probably just take it with Gonzo, maybe. Or maybe attack me with Gonzo, I don't know. Yep, he throws Gonzo. Let's see if he attacked. Oh, wow, he threw a lot of pills. That's interesting. So he hits me for three there. Three life gap. So now what? Is he going to hit me with Mildred? Mildred is a 7 times 8. She can be a 56. He does throw Mildred. We'll leave two pills here. Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, you suck, Goku. Dang it. You little bitch. Alright, fine. Fine, be that way. So now he's going to kill us with Bakuda here. Oh, man. Alright, well, this, this game completely sucked. Holy cow. Ah. I guess I just fell for that Mildred move like a chump, huh? Holy cow. Minus 33 points. Ouch. All right, game five, baby. We're point, we're point five. One and, uh, two and two. There we go. All right, this is Provoker, a Colossus level 90. And he has, oh, he has Nemo MT, interesting. That's okay, because I'm not going for any KOs here. Um, I'm going for that life gapage. So he's got three uppers and Saki. He gets to go first. So I should probably use Chang against Josephine. Definitely don't want to use Chang against DR6 though. Right? So we want to use Chang against Josephine or Nemo or Saki. And we want to use Jean against DR6 or Saki, but that might not be possible. I might have to use him against Nemo. I don't know. Now he goes first, doesn't he? So I can, I don't have to use Jean on this turn. I can wait. Okay, so he throws Nemo MT, and um, let's see. Should we throw Silvano or Excess Legend here? Oops. We'll throw. Hmm. We'll throw Excess Legend. 
go three pills. Okay, so we get through for five, for a five life gap there. Or is it a four life gap? No, it's a five life gap. That's cool. So um, now we'll throw Silvano. He doesn't have confidence with DR6, so that's cool. Actually, hold on a second. He goes first next time, right? If he has confidence with DR6, he'll, he'll throw DR6 next time. Which means I have to throw Jean. And then I can use Chang. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll go Silvano with um, two pills. Two pills just to get over the uppers bonus there. So we throw Saki. He just barely peels over me. Oh, and I only get one life back from that, don't I? Dang it. I didn't think about that. That's alright. That's alright, because now he has to throw DR6. Right? Oh, he throws Josephine. Perfect. Okay, so we'll throw Chang here. Let's see, Josephine is a 3. She's a 30-40. She's a 40 attack. Hmm. Nope, not good enough. We're going to do this. sucks. There's another crappy game. <laughs> oh my gosh. So basically I'm just sucking like every other game here. Ouch. Good game, Provoker. You got me. We're on to game 6 of 10. We're just kind of floating above point five here. Just... Well, floating at point .5. Ugh. Miserable. Okay. This is X Seer, a Colossus level 151. Is he from Excalibur, maybe? I don't know. Um, no, because they're XC, aren't they? So I don't know who this guy is. But, I think we've fought him before. And he's probably a pretty good player. So he's got uh, three Huracans here and a Hopper Legend. So I'm probably going to I'm going to want to use Jean or Salsa against Hopper Legend, I think. And he throws El Parasito, so that's that's pretty easy. We'll just throw Silvano with two pills. Alright. So he blasts us for six. We get three life back. And now, let's see. Now we're going to throw Salsa here. Go 28 attack. Actually, let's see. If he beats us with El Mariachi, is that going to be game over? It might be, huh? Okay, so let's see here.
He's a 22, and I'm a 6 times 4. And now we'll blast Hopper. Oh man, I didn't I didn't didn't have my eyes open on that one. Didn't have my eyes open on this one, guys. Sorry about that. So we lose 13 there. X Seer is obviously highly ranked. So not the worst loss we could possibly have. It wasn't that 33 point loss we had earlier. So this is Kinky Bird, a Colossus level 98. And we kind of go back and forth uh, with Kinky Bird. He beats us sometimes, we beat him sometimes. So let's hope we can uh, take this one, shall we? So I get to go first, and he drew two Hurakan and two, um, two Uluwatus, and I have three of my Berserks and Salsa, and Salsa, well, Salsa, Salsa will do okay against the Uluwatus, so that's, that's cool, um, he has a, an unleveled, or a, a semi-evoed El Exotico here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw Mitchell here with... Um, now let's throw Silvano with three pills. How about that? See what that gets us. So he throws El Gascaro. That's good. Awesome. So we got through. We hit for seven. Nice seven life gap there. And now Salsa is free to, ra to rain death down upon the Uluwatus here. So that's nice. So it throws El Exotico, and um, we're just gonna we're just we're just gonna throw Chang here. So El Exotico is a thirteen, and Chang is a fifteen. Perfect. So we get through for four there, but he gains what some life back. So we have a five life gap here, and um, just gonna go all in on salsa here. So I throw a shell, and he didn't fury. Oh, we got him. Suck it, shell. Yeah. See a kinky bird. And we got chain points, which is nice. And now he throws mango. And he can fury if he wants to, but it's not going to matter. Exolande. Drain him for another two, and that's game, baby. Nice. Okay, so this is game 
8, I believe. I believe we're on game 8. And we do have an opponent. So this is EOT Levi, a guru level 51. And he has a full hand of rescue here. That's never that's never a fun thing to face. With that big old plus 12 attack bonus. But we'll deal. We can deal. So he gets to go first. I imagine he'll throw Campbell or Callie here. Who should I who should I fight him with? Probably Chain, right? So he throws Campbell, and uh, Campbell's gonna be a three attack, but he also has his bonus, so. Yeah, we'll go that many. Ah, uh, he was faking. Look at that. He faked us. Faked us out of five pills there. Ouch. Alright. Um, so now... Now what? Now we'll throw Jean. Just to... Um, just to keep Leonard off of us. So he throws Donald here. And we get through for another three life gap. So the gap is now, what, seven? Is that a seven life gap? That's not bad. So he throws Leonard. We're going to throw all our pills here on Excess Legend to try to prevent that kill shot. Oh, what? He, he no-pilled and furied? That was weird. Okay. Well, that's game, baby. We'll take it. We will, we will graciously accept the victory, baby. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Callie. You got anything for Mitchell? I don't think so. He's got a little life drain for you, though. So come get some. What? So she hits me for seven. Boom. I drain her for two. That's game. Yeah, yeah. All right. Very nice. We're on to game nine, baby. We're almost out of the woods. We're almost there. I can see the light. So this is Zero Heaven, a Titan level 78. And um, let's see here. He has three All-Stars and a Kimba. And um, I've got an even split of Zerks and Jungo. So, I get to go first. Man, I don't like Harrow Legend at all. I 
I'm going to go 42 attack on Hercule. I'm assuming he'll hit me with Harrow Legend here. And um, if he does, I don't want him to steal my 5 damage. So that was my thought there. So he does throw Harrow Legend. And we got him. So we get through for three, three damage is all, um, and uh, we we lot we're down three pills. So not ideal by any means, but I don't know. It's workable. It's workable. What you gonna do? Zero heaven. I assume he's going to throw Saki here. And if he does, I think I'll just take it with Peg. Again, is maybe he's not gonna play at all? Come on, bruh. What? Dude, come on. Oh, there we go. So he throws Kimba. And, um,. All right, bring it, Kimba. What do you got? Okay, sweet. We just opened up a huge gap there. That's awesome. So now what? Um, can he even close the gap here? I don't know. He might be able to. We'll see. Throw a peg here. So let's see, Saki could get through here for three, for five life gap, and then Amir is six more for 11. Yeah, it's not going to happen, is it? That's game, baby. Yeah, that's right. See ya. See ya. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. Yeah, yeah. And in case you're wondering, my voice is a little shot today. Um, okay, we have one game left and we're at 1080. Very nice. My voice is a little shot because I was in a choir performance last night. And I sung my friggin' lungs out, so... So yeah, voice is a little shot. No biggie. There we go. I just needed one more opponent. Come on. All right, last game, baby. This is Maguilau, a Colossus level 129. He has an even split of Nightmare and Frozen here. And Salsa can, uh, can counteract half the Frozen bonus, so that's kind of nice. But I may want her against Dudley, too, so I don't know. Man, I really don't know what to do here. Um, if I throw her Cule, he could just take it with Incubus, you know what I mean? And then that powers up his Frozen. Um, but if I throw her Cule, he could also counter with Dudley and blast me for six. And that wouldn't be nice either. So, 
So, I guess we're going to throw Mitchell. Go 40 attack here. I want to save Jean for like, I don't know, for Dudley or maybe Schwartz when he has confidence. Or Incubus for that matter. Um, and Salsa, of course, is going to do well against the Frozen and against Dudley. And Hercule will actually work against Ona when she has confidence. So we'll see. So he throws Incubus. He's going to steal my 5 damage. Nope, we got him. So boom, and two more. So we open up a three life gap here, and now he has his frozen bonus going. But I guess both, both of his frozen cards beat Salsa anyway, don't they? Even with her cancel power, there's still 8 power against her 7 power, so that's not so great. So he throws Schwartz. Hmm. I'm tempted to throw her Kule here. John, how about that? Ah, dang. Guess we should have stuffed him with Hercule. Alright. So now Ona has confidence, uh, stop ability. And, um... So he throws Dudley, is he going to go for the KO? Nope, he doesn't. But he does beat us. And I can't Fury, dang it. If I could Fury, would that even matter? No, that wouldn't even matter. Oh well. Ah, uh, dang it, that was an ugly loss. We lose 25 points there. Oh, that was brutal, man. So what are we at? Um, we made slight progress, I guess. 10.55, okay. Well, it could have been worse. Let's open our daily box. So we got Bree, Cryptos, Cryptos, Clints, and Battle Points. You gotta love double Cryptos, baby. And, um... Last box here. So that's it. The end of week three, guys. Um, oh, we got Chang. Look at that. Awesome. Chang and, and Clint. So, um, so yeah, end of week three. Uh, we did not get to Polar Arena this week, which was kind of my goal. And 
it just didn't materialize, unfortunately. So, our we're so we're pretty much not going to get to Z Palace this season. Uh, it looks like. But Pullet Arena is still a possibility, so we'll see what happens next week. Come back and join me. I'm Hip Hop, this is Hop as Hip Tips, and uh, we'll get into it next week. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you.